Well folks, uh, some of the biggest things that have taken place since our last uh, video is the installation of the foundation and the slab for the pavilion, the Farmer's Market Pavilion, which is ready to go. We have our materials on site, so the subcontractor that's in charge of actually building the pavilion will be starting this week as well. Uh, we've started to do a lot of earthworks to bring up the grades to get prepped for uh, asphalt. Uh, they've been working on the City Hall parking lot and on the roadway itself. So what we hope that will be happening this week will be the the subcontractor will return and we'll start working again on the flat works which consists of the concrete sidewalk that will run along the river and finish off with some planters and some uh, minor uh, curb work so that we can get ready to install the uh, paving stones hopefully as soon as next week or the following week after that. Uh, one of the changes that we've made uh, in order to realign the road is that we've changed the actual shape of the pavilion. Before the pavilion was an L shape and now as you can see it's a form of a T. This will create a space between the river and the pavilion to create almost like a courtyard for special events like concerts and or more bizarre type events, outdoor events for vendors. Uh, what we can do is we have ballers that can be installed and, and taken out to ensure that this is kept safe for pedestrians and uh, users of the area. So what we're going to see when we're done is a concrete sidewalk that will create part of our river walkway. It'll come off of 8th Street and meander its way to just beyond the pavilion. You can see just over here, just to the north of me. And then it'll open up to another courtyard area. There'll be paving stones. Also here we'll have a courtyard in between the pavilion and the uh, river walkway which will also be paving stones, but they'll be different colors. We're trying to achieve a, a blend of different colors. We'll have a gray, charcoal colors in this area. We'll have more of a brownish beige in that area, and it'll help identify different areas. So people will know when we're coming and we're saying we're having a special event within the courtyard of the pavilion, they'll know to come to this general area. If we're having something in a more open space, they'll know to go there. Um, and we're trying to mix the colors and try and take it, make them match what we have in our natural environment and take advantage of the beautiful scenery that we have along the uh, one of our natural features right, right in the heart of our city. So it's a blend of different colors and different textures just to break it up just so it's not one great big monolithic and by that I mean one great big giant concrete slab. We want to make it up, make it look attractive, blend in with the with the age of our, our, our buildings and, and create more of a, like we're an older city. Uh, we're not just some new city that just popped up so let's make it look like something unique and something very inviting.